Is anyone going to talk in that one? Yeah? Okay. You got the camera roll? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ten seconds. I know. While the whole thing is on. I seriously can't hear you though. Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the District Channel on WMUC FM College Park Radio. Thank you so much for everyone who is tuning in or who will tune in. We really appreciate it. I am so excited. It is the first show back. Um, I was on break for about, I think, two months or more. And honestly, I needed it. And I'm very grateful and blessed because. There are some new changes that were made, and I think they're for the better. Um, so yeah, without further, further ado, if you haven't checked out our social media posts on Instagram, then you probably aren't aware what changes were made, but recently the District Channel paired up with um, SFA, which stands for Strength From Above. It's also a brand who builds community and um, really embraces entrepreneurship, and I have the founder and co-founder here who I'm very just excited to pair up and finally work together as a team so without further ado here's Arvin and Ricky hello guys yo what's hey. up man how you doing yo? I'm good I'm excited I'm, I'm excited. excited to be back yo because seriously I I was telling um all the people that I that know about the show that just like I needed a break I needed to sort of refresh and like find a way to make changes in a way that I'm just like, okay, what, what can I make better? Or, you know, what can I do as an improvement to the show? And so I was really grateful that you guys reached out and were like, you know, we can work as a team. And and we spice are now. Up, yeah, spice things up a little bit. Yeah, definitely. I know that you're, uh, uh, you're somebody that likes to build community. I'm somebody that likes to reach out to young people. As a youth pastor, I reach out to young people. I, I, I try to reach as many as I can, you know, um, and moving forward with this i want to like i i guess i guess like the plans that we have for this is to reach out to young entrepreneurs whatever young creators and we know that they're here in the dmv yeah we know that they're here some of them don't want to really show their face but uh um what we really want to do is uh call you out yeah call you out and tell you come on we want to see what you're working on we want to hear your story we want to hear what you're what you're doing we want you guys to impact you know we did it we're doing it, you know. It's been a long, it's been a long road. It's been a hard process, but we're here. Uh, we're here calling all the creators, all the entrepreneurs, anybody with a, with an idea, whatever it is. You don't have to believe the same thing we believe in, you know. I know I mentioned I'm a youth pastor, but you don't have to believe in what I believe in to create something beautiful, to create something awesome, to create something that's going to create a a, a a a bigger impact, you know. Um, we just want to hear, you know, as long as you have an idea, as long as you're creative and as long as you're, you have something in your heart that you want to build, that you want to start and just maximize it, we want to be your friend. We want to show you a different side of what, um, what religion has shown you. Yeah. We want to show you a side that we do offer friendship. We offer a relationship. We offer, uh, uh, we want to establish a long lasting relationship with you. No matter uh, what other religions or or, or, or or other thing has like has like painted a picture of who we yeah. are, we're not that. We want to show you friendship. We want to show you love. We are here to love on everybody and and just support everybody. Yeah. Right. We want to make friends. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, uh, you friends. know, also before we we say anything else, I just want to give a huge shout out to Janae. Uh, really appreciate you, girl, for being here, taking the time to just take photographs of everything that's going on. Really, from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate it. Also, shout out to Ravi. Ooh, we got my a fan in the building. Um, really appreciate him for just supporting me. and That's just, my bearded bro. Yeah, bearded bro. <laughs> Ginger bearded bro. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for just Janae being here. made and, me look good, all right? <laughs> He's amazing, y'all. So, anywho, going back to everything you said, I... Yeah, that's pretty much the the essence of it. And I love that. I love that, Ricky, that we are friends. 
you know, friends of the people, friends of the creatives, friends of entrepreneurs, just friends. And I feel like that's how you build community and that's what we want. I mean, that's really what the show was, how it started. When we first started talking, I was yeah. telling you that the District Channel started as more than a radio show to me. It really was like a project I started sort of like, man, like how can we build support, love and community in here? Because there's like always this competition, like there's so many photographers, there's so many models, there's so many singers, there's so many rappers, like instead of like competing with each other, why not support each other? Um, and so that that was some of the things that I'm just like, how can we make a difference in it? So that's and I think SA Fair does a great job of that, too, you know, really building that that bridge um, between that spiritual growth yeah. and challenging people to be like, get out of your comfort zone. It's not about religion. It's not about anything else. It's really yeah. just about community and, and lifting each other up. And that's really what it's about. I mean, yeah, that's that's what I think it's about. So, yeah, definitely. I feel like I feel like if you have a dream, um, the creator gave it to you. Yeah, you were mm. created to do so many things in life. You weren't created to you you didn't you weren't created to judge. You weren't created to to make enemies. You were created yeah. to love. You were created to establish. How do you establish with something that's put in your heart? If you have a dream, it's because God has given it to you. Now it's up to you mm -hmm. to make it a reality. So, it, if if that that is what we support. If you have a dream. Let us help you make it a reality. Yeah. Pretty. You know, we're not here to uh, um, we're not here to bash on anybody. We're not here. I know. I know that society has painted, you know, has painted uh, <laughs> God's children as something that attacks people. But I actually want to make a stand against that. Yeah. I actually, you know, you know, I want to make a stand against that. Yo, I'm not here to attack you. Mm -mm. I'm here to support you with whatever you 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 know you have you have an idea of whatever you want to start building. You know, whether it's uh, working on your music, whether it's working on, on uh, making a team on your high school or your college or, or whatever it is, whatever whatever career you have chosen, go for it. If you're dreaming, it's because God has given it to you. So make it a reality. It's not just going to happen by relying on other people's opinions, on other people's, you know, judgment. Yeah, It's going to happen with what you believe. It's going to happen with what you put into it, how much you put into it how much time what you sacrifice and you know ricky and i have been doing this for about it's about to be three years about to be three years wow yeah. bro it's about to be two three years yeah three years okay so it's about to be three years <laughs> <laughs> i have yeah. lost i've lost count yeah. but it, it, it's been a long hard process mm -hmm. and yes we've had a lot of people attack us a lot of people um leave us a lot of people turn their back on us. But uh, if that spark of that dream that God has put in your heart, that spark is still there, you got to keep going. And you also, you also got to think about it like your dream, you also have to believe that it's achievable. You can't midway through it and be like, oh, like this is ticking forever. Like it takes time. It's a process. It you have to trust time. that process. Because you have to believe if whatever dream you have that God has put it into you, you have to believe that it's achievable mm. because that's the end goal, right? Like that's where you want to get to. And if midway through it, you're just like, you're doubting it, then how can you even get to that goal if you don't even believe that it's achievable, mm. right? So you have to believe in it and you have to trust that process that you're going through. It's not something that's going to happen overnight. Like we just said, it's about to be three years. But we're still going strong. Like, we still know that there's a lot more to get to there. And in those three years, we've seen it go up and we've seen it come crashing down. Hmm. And uh, the, the, we were actually, uh, all three of us were actually talking about this earlier this week about how we're all taking a risk here. And we have to, we have to develop that. I know that we have trusted and we have been failed, mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean that. We can't trust again. Yeah. And it certainly doesn't mean that people won't fail you again. Yeah. But this is all about taking risks. And if you're not, if you're afraid to take risks, I'm sorry to tell you, but it's not, you're not going anywhere. Yeah. So it's, it's about taking risks after you took that risk and it didn't work out. Okay, fine. Take another one. Yeah. Take another one. I think that's something you're challenging me to do because I was telling both Ricky and Arvin that. I never wanted to be the face of the district channel. Like, that's what you never see 
my face on like my page or on the district channel. I don't post like you know how you see other uh, organizations that they'll post like the founder talking or anything like SFA, right? You're, you're the founder, so you have pictures of you. I just never felt that, and I feel like that's something you're challenging me to do now. And I'm just like, okay, I can see how that can reach much more of an audience, um, especially the people who know me. Yeah, um, so, look at the Breakfast Club. Yeah, exactly. Right, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna go for that challenge. And, and I think you're right. Honestly, I did feel like, oh, my gosh, I'm taking a risk because I'm so used to running it on my own, right? And now having a team, it's like, okay, well, that's me coming out of my comfort zone and trusting, trusting God that he equipped me with two uh, teammates to get this thing rolling. Well, it even goes back to our own tagline, like, you know, like this time it's personal, like, like you said, like the more that you put yourself out there, like the more people can connect to it, they can make it personable, right? Because they see that that you can make that connection, right? Like, oh, like the same struggles that you might be going through or the same ideas that you have are the same things that I'm going through, right? So it's almost like brings mm-hmm. you to that pedestal where you are at the same level with somebody and they're not just like looking at you high over. It'll be like, wow, yeah. like when can I ever get to that point? But you bring it back down, back to earth basically, right? And it's taking almost like that personal level with somebody like, Mm. hey, what your dreams had, like the same way that you're going through your challenges, the same way I have done it. If I can make it and you can make it, too. Yeah, I think that and that's a great transition of what I think we're trying to achieve in terms of what we want to do is interview so many creatives, so many entrepreneurs or just anyone in the DMV that has this talent or, or, or this vision um, because I think it's important to understand their story and tell their story. Like so far, we have, you know, a screenwriter, we have, you know, singers, artists, so many different people with different backgrounds, and telling their story really connects with that, Ricky. The where it makes it personal in a sense of like, wow, they're going through something I'm going through, or it can, can just connect. Their story can just connect to multiple people, and I think that that makes sense. Yeah, I be, I think that's. I think that's awesome. Like we need when we talk about people telling their stories, we want to hear not just the success. Mm. We want to hear the stuff that you went through, you know, the 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 darkness, the storms, the trials, the tribulations, all this stuff that put you through absolute hell. Because um like we like like Ricky said we've been at this for 3 years. Yeah. Those 3 years haven't been easy. Those 3 years <sighs> uh, my daughter's in the NICU right now. You know, you know that because you, you, you've been there for me and I appreciate that. Um, my daughter's in the NICU right now yeah. and I'm here. And the thing is that you can go through so many things, but like I said, God has put this in your heart. Now it's your turn to make it a reality. How do you make it a reality is you need to, you need to know and you need to trust that whatever you're going through, he is in control. Mm. He is in control. Keep doing what you're doing yeah. because he's in in control. And that has was kept that that is what has kept me, you know, going. Um, yeah. You know, I have my story. Ricky has a story. You have your story. Yeah. And we like we need we're in an age where entrepreneurship for some reason is like the cool thing. Yeah. You know, everybody <laughs> wants it. Everybody wants to do it. Mm-hmm. Everybody is on their grind. I know y'all, it's, y'all <laughs> listening. Y'all can't see no, wait, me. But... First, have you seen those funny things? It's like, I'm low key. You're doing my own thing. Like, I'm being, you know, have you seen those funny, like, they're, yeah. they're being hypocrites in the sense I'm of, I'm making like, my own money. Yeah, yeah. making money, like. You ain't doing that, bro. If they're sneaking, like, I'm like, you can't put post it out there if you're being low-key. <laughs> you, you driving Uber. You seen Uber. it today? Yeah. <laughs> you I'm know, like, bro. Work, in, work in silence. Exactly. Working yeah. in silence. I'm work like, in silence. Where? I'm like, you're not working in silence if you're announcing it. Exactly. Bro. Like, like, I announce it all the time because I want people to know. I want people to know. I don't want people just to see the success. I want people to know what I go through. Yeah. I want people to know that this isn't easy. I want people to know that leaving my job was hard leaving my job was the biggest risk that i took i'm like okay um now i need to hustle to replace the salary that i was making yeah. you know i want people to know that it, like during this you have to hustle there's no there's no you know there's no i'll do it later yeah. there's you gotta do it right now yeah. or else it doesn't get done and like you need to know the 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 hard parts you know the parts that cause you pain 
the parts that uh, where you sacrifice sleep, you mm. know, the parts where you have to visit a doctor and the doctor has to tell you, hey, you need to um, get a little bit more sleep because you're not sleeping. Mm. You know, that just happened to me. I was operating on three to four hours of sleep. And the doctor was like, look, I know you're taking on everything and stuff like that. You're doing your thing, but you need to rest. Mm. Like, you go through all of this when you go into entrepreneurship. You learn these things. Your mistakes becomes lesson, become lessons. There are no failures. They're just lessons learned. And a lot of people have that confused. They go, oh, I want to do my, uh, you know, I want to be an entrepreneur, but have no clue what's behind that. Mm. No clue. A lot of work. It's amazing. <laughs> that that doesn't even sum it all up. Like it's just it takes so much time and effort. Like it, it takes every single bit of you. You know, from both of us to like everything that he's gone through, through trying to even like be by his side to support him and like keep pushing it on and like keep going through it. Like there's a lot of things that sometimes there's so many sacrifices that you have to put into it. And you know, it's not just like the cool thing that's happening right now. Like it takes a lot of hard work and effort. And going back to even like how we were talking about like dreams, like that every dream takes hard work and effort to get to to a certain point. No, that makes sense. And I think that with entrepreneurship, I think what I've le been learning so far is people sort of give up if they don't see like the financial gain of it. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I'm like, in in entrepreneurship, it's not about that. It's you're not, you're not going to see that probably for like the first couple of years, or you know, you know. And, and I think people have this sort of you know what she's talking about right <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, it, because it ends up coming afterwards and I'm, I'm learning the art of being patient uh because Ooh. that for Oof. me was i was that person that would be like okay i gotta see you now but now i'm sort of learning like okay you know what you need like stand still and just trust and really understand that it's timing will come you know whatever it is that you're longing for you're dreaming for whatever it is and it is it it starts to happen in moments where you're just like you're just kind of like letting go and just trusting and yeah. i've seen it i've seen it with my eyes and my experience and i tell people I'm like yo i'm not telling you to be patient just to do it but because i've learned from my mistake and i'm telling you you know and in, in entrepreneurship i see that a lot i said yeah. there's no financial gain yet but the connections you make the relationships you build are so much more worthy than than that yeah. itself and the experience itself even even in the risk and the sacrifice it are, are much more worthy than it is like the financial gain. Yeah. Like, I don't know if it's happened to you, but people see what you do, you know. And uh, like, for example, with me, when I um, when I left my job in mm -hmm. February and I went full time on everything that I'm doing. Wait, can you kind of give a background of what you did so that, you know, they're like, oh, what did you do? Like, oh, yeah, that's exactly where I was going. Okay. Because like, that's what I mean. They see that I left my job right mm -hmm. now for for five years. I used to run a restaurant with my wife, right? But then it's not something that I wanted to do. It's not something that I loved. I I really didn't like um, going to work every day. <laughs> yeah, there was money in it, yeah. Like we were we were okay, but we didn't like it. Um, so we left that. She got a job. I got a job. I went back to construction, and I did construction for five years. I was waking up at 3.30, sometimes 3 o'clock in the morning, and I was working 10, 12 hours, you know, pulling concrete in the hot sun. I did that, and at the same time that I was doing that, I was also building my brand. Hmm. You know, I was also, like, everybody was like, well, what are you going to do with weightlifting? I don't know. Let me figure it out. That, that's not your problem. Let me figure that out. Let me figure out what I'm going to do with weightlifting, how I'm going to make weightlifting, you know, how I'm going to make money off of that. Well, it started with weightlifting. Then it started with people looking at me getting bigger because I was really skinny. It started with people uh, saying, you know, OK, I see you, you know, making a change and stuff like that. It started with people getting closer to me. I started building community. Everybody in the gym knew me as Superman. Then they knew me as Superman the Silverback because I was so big. I just keep looking at me. I'm not that big. I'm not that big anymore. But I, 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 like, mm -hmm. I was I was really big. I was really big. I'm just kidding. When Ricky met me, I was 285. Mm -hmm. I'm like 250 right now. But I was really big. You know, I was I was a big impact in the gym that I was going to. A lot of people became my friends. 
I started making YouTube videos with Ricky. That's where I met Ricky. I started making YouTube videos with Ricky. I started making my Instagram videos in the morning, waking up at 3.30. You'd see the 3.30 right there. I'd be like, get up. It's time to grind, this and that. And I'm still doing it. You know, now, now I'm where I am today. We started the brand. We started selling merch. And then I started another company. So I have two businesses. Working on a third one, but we're not going to talk about that one yet. Right, that's that's 2020. Cool. <laughs> so I have two businesses. And once I had two businesses and a full-time job working 50, 60 hours a week in the hot sun and on my free time, that's when I was doing my stuff. See, that's that's what people don't understand. People don't understand. You don't grow during the 50 or 40 hours that you put in a company. The company grows. You mm-hmm. don't. The company grows. You don't. Mm. Your time of growth comes from the moment you you clock out. Mm-hmm. From the moment you clock out and you start working for yourself, that's when you grow. That's when your brand grows. Mm-hmm. That's when your company grows. That's when entrepreneurship starts. So you work the certain amount of hours that you work at a company. You have to put those. Uh, you have to put more hours on that. You work eight hours. Put four or six hours on, on yourself. You work 10 hours, put three hours on yourself. It adds up. You don't grow if you go home and watch Netflix. Yeah. You don't grow if you go home and just sleep because you're tired. Sometimes you have to put your body through, through, through something it's never been through. Yeah. Sometimes you have to. Mm. You just have to. Sometimes you have to give up sleep. There have been nights where I've gone to work on two hours of sleep because I was grown. I, but I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. I wouldn't be on my own. I wouldn't be not depending on a company. You know, if I was still depending on a company with all the time that my wife spent at the hospital, they don't understand that. Yeah. Companies won't understand that your wife's in the hospital. Companies won't understand that your daughter's in the NICU. Only you do. Yeah. And sometimes... We, as the creators that we are, as the entrepreneurs that we are, as the impact that we're causing to the world, because whatever we're building, it's not just for us. It's to cause an impact on other people. It's to tell people, hey, you don't have to live an average life. You choose to live the average life. If you want if you want to be above average, which you were created to be above average. Remember that. Always remember that. I'll never get tired of telling people that you were created to be above average. And if you were created to be above average, you have to live more than the average person does. You mm-hmm. have to do more. You have to sacrifice more. Mm-hmm. You have to hurt more. You have to go through more. You have to cry more. Mm. Everything is more when you live above average. Mm. Everything. So when cute. I say everything, it's everything, y'all. Everything. And, and you don't understand like that whole piece of him saying like like you gotta get used to like i when i first met him the most first thing one of the first things he told me was like you gotta get used to working hours that normal people don't work and i'm like what are you even talking about and i'm telling you right now in those three years i (laughs) came to learn what he meant like there's times where you have to put in you know you have to lose that time of sleep and you know and and i one thing that i like to do is like I, i i always get my news notifications online on my phone and i was just reading this the other day they were saying like oh like they took a survey of like people from like you know age 20 to like about 28 mm-hmm. you know what are they focusing during their 20s right and they're just like oh school try and enjoy life but that's the thing they think about that right now okay mm-hmm. what after that what about when you're in your 30s and your 40s and you're living on like what are you going to be working on by that time your body is already your body is not going to stay young Right. Your energy levels are going to be hard enough for you to put into it. Right. Yeah. But now as you're young, like you can use this time more valuably to really invest into your dream, really make those sacrifices, really work. And my yeah. full time job, I'm a full time teacher in D.C. And I've been very straight up with my even my principal. Like I'm like, look, I'm going to give you all my effort coming into here from working from nine to five. But I'm telling you right now that in my mental state. Yeah. You're my part-time job. My full-time is the moment I leave out of here. What the businesses that I'm working on. Those are the yeah. things that I'm investing to 
Because at the end of the day, this school, this brick building is going to be here. But then 40, down, you know, 40 years down the line, what is it going to have mm. to me, right? But that business that I'm working and I'm investing my time into, 40, down, 40 years down the line, that's going to be a legacy that I've left here on a generation, not only for my family, but for the community around me. Mm. So people don't understand. Like You got to really, really take time to understand that what you're doing right now is not only an impact for yourself, but there's others watching. There's others that are going to be looking at me like, okay, if that person's doing it, I know that I can do it too. Yeah, that's that's good too. And that's why I'm so excited to bring all these ideas together and everything that we've gone through and learned to sort of talk about our projects, our future projects, and what we're trying to do with this show now. But I know we can talk about it right after the music because we need to take a break <laughs> from all this talking. We're just going to keep going and going. Let's I really get it, wish let's get a break it was more than an hour because... <laughs> As Rob knows, I can talk. Okay, I can talk for days. Oh, we know. <laughs> wow. Yeah. But yeah, so we'll play some tunes and come back. <laughs> all right, all right. Man, I'm surprised you listen to this music. For real. Yeah. What? This, you, this from what? Like, Out of, this is like from like okay, before first your of time, all, yo. Didn't we already establish this? That oh, we all listen right, to classic right. rock? Mm-hmm. We were right, all talking right. about this. Right. We were literally... Like, we were at Fuddruckers one time, and we were just uh, throwing around songs that we've listened to. We were like, what? Different band. Yeah. And yeah, like, you're right. My favorite is The Chain. Oh, my gosh. That song. I love that song. All right. So, we're back. We're, this is the District Channel on WMUC FM College Park Radio. Thank you so much to everyone who is listening or who will tune in. And welcome back, Arvin, Ricky. What's okay. up? <laughs> I'm like, hi. For real, for real. Shout out to everybody that's listening, for real. No, yeah. seriously. I got a couple you guys. messages telling me that the conversation is really great. So thank you. Yes. For that. You know, that's what I love. That's why I actually, I, I talk a lot because I love conversation. So I like to make sure I can ask a lot of questions and people start talking. Okay, we get it. There are statistics that show that women speak 20,000 words oh, a I day <laughs> compared to like 7,000 to men or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I believe Janae, that. do you confirm? Did every guy oh, confirm that survey? <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of guys confirmed that survey. Like, I'm yeah. pretty sure a bunch of Janae's guys. Like, yeah, like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I text a lot. You text the same thing. It's still communicating. You okay, do text a like, lot. I send okay. memes a lot. So. Wait, are you that person <laughs> that I'm that person that like I I don't type something in one paragraph. I type it like multiple. You too, Janae. I type yeah. in multiple. But like, hey, so what's good? Like in one. Sometimes. I mean, you you be seeing the long text messages that I sent you sometimes. I know. Right? Yeah. I'd be like, bro, I got to take a break. <laughs> I'm coming <laughs> back. I'll read the next time. So, anywho. You said what? I'd be like, slow down. I know. I'd be talking. I'd be like, wait, what'd you say? <laughs> I'm like, dang. <laughs> I do talk fast. But anywho, we're back. And we're back stronger than ever. You know what I'm saying? Stronger than ever. Embracing the comeback. Yeah. Ooh, embracing the comeback. Also, if you haven't checked it out. Uh, SFA has a YouTube channel where they posted our podcast episode on that, where we talked about embracing your comeback. Yes, the Unplugged series, the Unplugged featuring series. Yanni. Yeah, so we were on there, and it was it was pretty cool. So, if you were you were tuned in recently or a couple of minutes ago, then you know we're now we're going to talk about a little bit our future projects projects and what we're trying to achieve with this show as a team and collectively. So a lot, of, a lot of the things that I didn't do back then was I'm really grateful to have a team now because I know that we're pretty much all hands on now and we can achieve it much faster because being a one person running something is so hard. Oh, my gosh. I didn't oh, know that yes. I didn't know the importance of teamwork until I started doing this, because, mind you, I don't know if Janae knew this, but when I first started the show, I had a co-host mm-hmm. and we, you know, we sort of ended it because it didn't we weren't on the same uh I don't know what you accord. would call it. Yeah, right. The same accord or the same page. level in terms. Yeah, the same page. Exactly. And so. Gotta go all fancy for. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. We all have our cup of tea. Um, and so. Coffee. Okay. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> um, yeah, you didn't bring me a coffee. So I was hey, like, I was waiting. I was like, maybe they're going to bring me a coffee. You know? Well, the Just doctor kidding. told me I got to cut back. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Dang. That sucks. I'm sorry. Don't worry, I'll have one, and I'll just be like, "Look, this is for you." Doesn't mean I'm not. I'm going to listen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm, that's that's my dad. My dad's like, 
literally he was talking telling my mom he's like yeah the doctor said i can't have this eggs and all this stuff and he's like but can you make me some scrambled eggs <laughs> no. i'm like bro i mean he asked me he's like did the doctor give you any medication i was like yeah but i didn't take it <laughs> <laughs> i just you know they was like go pick it up at the pharmacy i just went home oh my gosh we're stubborn that's yeah. entrepreneurs like they're so stubborn we got this, they don't man. listen <laughs> Tell me about it. I got the Lord on my side. The Lord, <laughs> the, the Lord, Lord, <laughs> Lord. the Lord. Anywho, so, side. so a couple of the things that we're trying to do now is this show. Back um, when I first started, I didn't really do anything with it. Like I just left it on here. I didn't post it anywhere. And now what we're trying to do is make it to a podcast in the sense that we will stream it to different um, yes. programs and applications. Platforms. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so like, yeah, platforms like Spotify, iTunes, Mm -hmm. Google, and all these other things. And shout out to Ricky for doing that because he does a great job in research of knowing how to sort of maneuver his way into this. Because I'm just kind of like, okay, I I bet. And so, and then another thing um, is also now we're recording and we're going to post. Yeah, we're filming, so we're going to have this live, and I'm excited. You could definitely catch this at the SFA channel. Yeah. Definitely catch this at the SFA channel. Put it up ASAP. So let us the let the them bottom. know. Let let the audience know what where can they find more of a SFA SF, SFA. You're gonna be working with us. You gotta get our name right. Yeah. Now. I know. S- yeah. S- I'm starting to feel a little bit offended. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like so many times I'm, say, I'm saying it, it's kind of like bro, my my tongue is like barely. So, uh, you can find us. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Next thing you know, she's going to be like, Safa. <laughs> <laughs> For real. <laughs> so, so, SFA could be found. SFA could be found on Instagram, YouTube. Instagram, we are SFA. Uh, YouTube, yes. strength from above. Um, I need water. Hold that laughing. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, uh, yeah, definitely everything. Everything that we record on Sundays now is going to be filmed. Uh, we want to. We want. If you didn't catch it live, you'll catch it on the podcast. If you want to see what's going oh, yeah. on behind the scenes, you'll catch it on. YouTube. I hope you guys know that while Arvin's saying that, he's staring right at me like we're gonna have this. <laughs> <off. laughs> <laughs> Ricky, Ricky's we're like, I can't. So I mean, <laughs> I don't want to put you out there like that. But if you want to put yourself out there like that. Y'all can't see I it now, have but you it will. Time. So whoever's <laughs> listening, just in any case, Askin. something happens with me. You know, this is <laughs> this public is proof. announcement. <laughs> proof of what? All right, let's move on. <laughs> so yeah, uh-huh. I'm, I'm, I'm super, I'm super uh, excited. <laughs> Hello. I'm sorry. I was, I was super I, I, excited. I, I dozed off. <laughs> I'm just trying kidding. to intimidate Ricky right <laughs> quick. Let me remember no, that. No, y'all, we're a loving community. Yes, we're a loving community. We <laughs> love <friends>. everybody. <laughs> we're friends. We're friends. We're family. Yeah. So, a couple of things. <laughs> I'm I'm really excited because we're gonna have a lot of special guests that I wasn't able to interview last show, and and I'm so grateful that they finally accepted to be on this show, and I'm excited to have a team that. We'll be also able to. What happened? So I just got a text. Somebody said, "Save Ricky." <laughs> save Ricky. <laughs> hashtag Save Ricky. Hey, let's th- let's start trending that. Right now. Hashtag Save oh, right? Ricky. Like, Who's that? Who's that? Who's Ricky? Save like, Ricky. Oh, okay. They're gonna say. But anywho, so I'm just really excited to like of all the the people that we're gonna be able to interview. Uh, yeah, it, They're they're just they're amazing. Like we have a screenwriter. We're gonna interview. We finally have Sammy, who we call like the college. He's like the college park connector or hustler with the heart. Like Sammy knows everybody you can think of in college park. And Ricky met him at, briefly, right? You said yeah, you didn't really but get- he's yeah. I could tell like for from the brief moment that I talked to him, I was like, yeah, this man definitely knows a lot of people for sure. <laughs> and talk about like, he literally he reminds me of like Pitbull in the sense like he's always dressed up. Every time I see him, he's he dressed is. up. He he was like the the event that we had. He was like definitely wearing like all oh, this cool suit. Like it was like. Just smooth, just walking around. I was like, wow. Well, like nothing. He's like, this. and like, it's funny because he's walking around like, you good? You you got what you need? Like everywhere he's at, he's like, you good? You got what you need? But that's just, that's just the person he is. And I appreciate that. And he's connected me to a couple of people. So like, Send me the plug. Send mm-hmm. me the plug. Cool. So one of the people he's actually, that we're going to interview, they're called um, Operation Arts. And I'm excited to interview them. They're like a local organization who help um, educate artists about 
just how to um, get funds from their art. Like a lot of artists don't know how to manage art, right? Like maybe they, they don't know that they can maybe go mm -hmm. to a, an exhibition and sell their art there, like different things mm -hmm. that they can, they're helping them. And I, I appreciate that. And Rob and I met the, the founders and they're Renee and, and Shay. And it was really good. They were so funny. <laughs> You and so names, I forget girl. it wrong. I'm so bad at with you and names. names. SFA I know. was a mess. Because <laughs> no. I'm just like thinking, okay, about life right now. So let me let me focus, okay? So we we got to meet them and they were they were so funny. I swear, me and Rob were like just dying the whole time. I'm like, I can only imagine having a conversation with them at this point. It's gonna be funny. Funny. They're gonna be here? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, they're gonna be here. So I'm excited to to have them and you know, and then also we're gonna have uh IMV. I am MV. I am MV. Yo, you and names I right now. MV. Yeah, bro. it's not working. <laughs> cut, cut, <laughs> cut, 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 every, cut everything right now. Right now, we're gonna start the show all over again, y'all. No, I always get confused though because sorry, I always guys. see as a as yeah. Sorry, y'all. Much love though. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have them. We're gonna perform them live, and that's another thing I started to do at the end of the show. I'm like, you know, how can I make the show better and have live performances? And Janae was also able to see that. I mean, did you like it? Was, it? I did like it. It's 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 like it's much more. It's, I don't know how to explain it's it. Interactive. It's very interactive. I, I think it's gonna be cool now that we're gonna be able to record it too. Yes. And actually yeah. have them yeah, that's like on awesome. YouTube and. I need to update everybody on the show. I didn't even do in the beginning. So a little bit of update about about what happened with the show. Um, all my content got deleted. Got deleted. Yeah, Janae. Everything got deleted <laughs> from all the interviews I've done. And there were some that I'm just like I can't believe I lost that because they were just they were gems. You can't get that conversation back, but I'm really grateful to have experienced that myself. And some people got very vulnerable and told me their story, you know, their testimony. And I'm like, I just thank God that I was able to hear that. And even if no one else got to, or I guess the people that were able to tune in at the moment were able to listen to it. So I just see that as a blessing in disguise. And I'm learning from it and I'm growing from it and finally able to start the show sort of in a new plate, right? So that's kind of how you want the show. It. Just come back. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, definitely. We got to get one time back yeah. up in here. Yeah, David, one time. Actually, I don't know if he's going to want me to tell. I won't say it, but we are meeting tomorrow. So I'm really excited about oh. what we're going to do. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Only That's only for us to know. Okay. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> he's like, what's he know? He's looking at me. Now, we if y'all see the look that, if y'all see the look that Arv is giving me right now, we started this partnership up. I we're, scared. We're, we're starting this partnership up really wrong. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting our names wrong. You're not telling us details. <laughs> wow. Wow. Cut. You really going <laughs> to If you're listening, just turn your radio off. Cut. Give it like a five minute break and then turn it back Go off. Back. Yeah, turn it back <laughs> off. Wait till I leave. I just feel, you know what? I just feel like I have so much that I have to say and I'm like kind of just like blah, 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 blah. Like saying it all at the same time. And yeah, so things are slipping out. Yeah. Ooh. I mean, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Isn't there like a term for that? Isn't that like... Disorganized? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, I it's it's like that. like that. That's how I feel right I now. I mean, no, guys, look. Is there though? Multitasking? Multitasking? I'm no. multitasking. No. Maybe you're going on a tangent. Ah, oh, oh, that's goodness. what it is. Dang, I can't believe I got that. <laughs> wow. He's, no, he low-key wanted to say it the whole time. I'm starting to like. read a lot more, guys, so I'm getting a little bit more smart. You better. Yeah. That's what Mia's going to say. If y'all don't know, Mia is Arvin's Mia's daughter. Mia's my baby girl, Mia Bella. Daughter? Stands for, Mia Bella stands for my beloved. That's my baby girl, y'all. Shout-outs so to cute. Mia. Shout-outs to Mia and the NICU. Yeah, she the was, nurses she was hard swinging, time. son. She was swinging, throwing hands. Yeah. She's not playing. She swings at those nurses. <laughs> have you met her dad? Like, yeah. have you really met her dad oh my gosh Jeanette you should have seen how they did the gender reveal it was really cute so you know how he Arvin talked about they did weight they do weight lifting and everything so their gender reveal was that they had like a weight like the squat weight you know the squat mm -hmm. racks things so they had that and like he drops it on the floor and it's like a sandbag and like the powder was like pink it was so cute I was like that was so creative who who thought of that um my amazing brother-in-law and sister-in-law they, it was mm. at their place. They thought about it. I actually wanted to do that. But uh, since I wasn't planning the gender reveal, you know, I just, like, sat back. But they actually did what I wanted to do. That's how I wanted Without to them it. knowing. Without them knowing, yeah. They were just Dang. like, we got to do it. This guy, he deadlifts all the time, so. It makes the, sense. Yeah. The funny thing is that I don't know if I remember telling you that. You're, when I was talking to your brother-in-law, 
and I asked him, I was like, why is that, why is that plate out there? He was like, that's how we're going to do the gender reveal. He was like, I just hope Arvin can lift it up. He was like, should I add another plate on there? I was like, no, let's just leave it there. I know, actually, Arvin's like, oh, 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 like dropping it, and it's like, it won't work. Nah, it wasn't that much. It was only 205. 205? Yeah, it, it's not that much. I feel like it is for me. Like, yeah, it is. Like, um, okay. <laughs> no, yeah, no, it was only a like thousand pounds. It was only, yeah, it was only like, <laughs> Hey, honey, that no, thing. Rob lives. Rob knows two or five ain't that much. No, it ain't that much. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You're good. You're good. No, he's definitely challenging me more at the gym. Like in terms of like, I can wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Rob's challenging more at the gym. Yeah. You used to train with me. What yeah, I used Old... to. Oh. No, I'm saying we used to train. Wow. Yeah. So he challenges you more than me. No, you both do. Rob, you're no but, longer but, my. But Rob is challenging me more brother. now because I go with him more. Mm. So yeah, <laughs> shave your beard, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, but let's get back on topic, guys. Yeah, Look, seriously, we man. are we are doing some excited things. We uh, I'm super excited. I know Ricky's excited uh, to do more work, and I know that you're excited. You know, because we're gonna meet so many new people. We're gonna interview so many new people. We want to see your talent. We want to hear your story. We yes. want to hear what you go through. We want to hear. We want people to hear that. There are, there is a creative community here. Yeah. yeah. There is a community of entrepreneurs here. It's not just people that want to work for a company. Not that I'm saying that working for a company is bad, but these there are people here with ideas. There, are, the, the creative scene in the DMV is growing, and we want to shed more light into it. So, that is our that is our plan. Yeah, that and I think plan. I think what we're also trying to shift is this mental shift of like. People think you have to go to New York or to L.A. or to all these other places in the world to see art or to see all these creative people. And why not start where we live? Why not start here of like where I've seen personally so much talent and creativity already in itself. And just in a span of one year, I've met so many talented creative people that I'm just like, bruh, we need to put you out there. Like, why aren't you out there? Because it's, it's amazing. And I think that's something we're trying to achieve and really sort of give a voice right sort of like a voice to the voiceless not in the sense of they don't have the voice but it's just being a support for them being this platform where we have the this blessing of a station right we yeah. have we have a blessing of those of spaces that we can go to and record and and hear someone's story and put that out there yeah i mean look how many people you just met in college park college park ain't that big uh -huh. to be honest yeah if i would have like not even met you i would have never known that this was here too like I had no idea. Yeah. You know what I mean? No. I brought to the station and I, and I tell people, I'm like, yo, if you want to come down the station, come, I'll, I'll bring you and give you a tour. And like, I'm, I'm serious. Like you guys can come and see like all the people that have been here. And exactly. Like no one really knows about this. No one really knows that there was a station here. If you, if you drop me, Arvin, I'm going, I'm going to swing some hands, son. The DC side of me going to come out. Okay. If y'all don't know, Arvin is playing around with my stool. No, I'm not. And, like, I'm ready to just, no, like, I'm fall. Not. Yeah, no, okay. <clears throat> we have, we're we have, recording it, so just so you know. We have, like, 10 minutes left. Oh, time. yeah, that's we'll right. On topic. <laughs> we are it's on topic, so Ricky. You just worry about bringing this video out on time. <laughs> like. <laughs> okay. Before I forget, I'm a pastor. <laughs> all right, so. so <laughs> Anywho. <laughs> Anywho. <laughs> all love, all peace and love, y'all. Peace okay. and love, peace and love. More yeah. friends. Peace and love, yeah. We love each other. We're family. More friends. We're family, we're friends. We're no friends. new friends? Let's not forget. You said what? I think y'all gonna be swinging. I know, I know. Oh, we're gonna hear someone behind fighting. The, like, what's going on? Behind the scenes, it's <laughs> just like, hey, we should we should put a poll. Do you want to see what goes on behind the scenes? <laughs> <Right. laughs> That's scary. I'm gonna ask it. Like my niece, you know how she watches Peppa Pig? And now she's like, she's oh God. got the British <laughs> accent now. So everything she says, she's like, I scared. Or like, she just gives that like the <laughs> accent. I'm like, it's going to be us. <laughs> we got to do a, uh, we got to, we got to make Yanni do impersonations. Oh, yeah. yeah. We'll just have you like think a, I'm good at it? Like a five minute I, I segment just right for that. It. Yeah, I think I'm pretty I good at impersonations. You are. You're yeah, pretty yeah. good. I think I'm okay at it. What do you think? Go, wow. <laughs> oh, wow, Rob. Support me. Claim me. <laughs> Claim me. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because, man. Even Rob's like, wow. I know. And no one supports me. Janae. <laughs> okay, Janae. I'm here. Me. She's like, I'm here. She's like, barely. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But thank you, Janae. She's, just, she's been great, man. She's just getting all the angles and everything. That's like me. When I'm like taking pictures of, of Rob, I'd be like, yes, honey, work it, work it. You made me look good, Janae. <laughs> yeah. All right. Silver back, look all right. All right. Don't, all worry right. About, don't worry about Ricky. Don't worry about Ricky. Don't worry about Ricky. He, he'd be all right. No, we're going to worry about each other. We're going to worry about each other. We got you. We love each other. Yeah, we're family. Yeah. We're family. So, yeah. Okay, sorry. We're going to go back to the topic. This is just what happens. Like, literally, when we get together, we just, this is what happens. Like, even in our meetings. Get together, girl. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> like, drinking coffee and then talking about, like, a film. So, oh, that's another thing. Another guest that we're going to have. Not just one guest, but a couple of guests. So, recently, I, would, I had the privilege and honor of working in a documentary in Georgia with um, local Ooh. filmmakers and um, pretty big known filmmakers and I was really you. excited about that and you give me a spot in the movie Barely. And let so, me be the next King Kong I got you son I got you so I we're gonna we're gonna interview um, the filmmaker and the other production assistants who were in the film or who also work in, in the documentary and I'm really excited about that because their journey and what their background entails is also really inspiring and i'm just excited for everyone to hear their their story cool yeah i can't wait but you're not like you're gonna let me speak to them right no just kidding duh it's <laughs> like so, now i gonna be like if y'all don't know the station there's like a window in between the rooms i was gonna be in the back like <laughs> like with a question <laughs> let me in. On the glass. <laughs> like can i talk now <laughs> get me in a movie <laughs> <laughs> Literally, they've been scared the whole time. Who's Rampage two, <laughs> Rampage two, yeah, yeah. I could be Rampage. That's true. Okay, I'll, I'll let them know when they I come. I could be the Rock's gorilla. Hmm, that's good. That's good. I'll be okay. his partner. Yeah. All right, we're gonna see. It's, we're gonna see what we do. It's a done deal. We'll talk to them when they get back in. All right, bet. So yeah, we're gonna have that. We're gonna have other artists, and I'm just really excited. I think what I'm most excited is is also seeing the live performances. Those are my favorite. Just seeing how people can just come. We can perform. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can perform. What y'all gonna do? I, I, I drop a track and he could freestyle. I could freestyle. Wait, can you tell them about, like, where have you been featured on so people can listen? Uh, oh, yeah. I've been featured on... Uh, I've only been featured on one Oh, Well, still, it's a good song. Actually, I've I can play it. I'll play it. Say I've, it and I'll play it. Okay, I've been featured on a, a Reggie Reg album. His album that dropped... Uh, when it dropped, like, uh, this year, right? Oh, yeah, earlier this year. Yeah. Earlier this year uh, for the culture. And he's yeah, a he, we need end. to bring him on you know yeah, what yeah we do his, need to bring him on we had an, i had an interview with him in my first well in the first year of the show and he did really good we played his uh mixtape and some of his music and we had max doing beats in the background and i so could do that <laughs> the, the, the dj arvin D all right so this, this silver bag. Oh my gosh silver bag. all right silver so we'll back. go play it it's called an o2 kids and it's featuring Su superman the silverback aka arvin so we'll play and hopefully y'all like it because I like it. I really do like it. It's, it's pretty really dope. Good. It's pretty the, dope. Actually, the whole EP. I don't know if he calls it EP or a mixtape, but no, it's no. This is his album. His album. Okay, his album. His album. Okay, yeah. well, his yeah, album. His album. First Ricky, oh, Ricky good. designed the uh, uh, cover. Really? Yeah. Cover. Yeah. Cover. Oh my uh, gosh! I didn't know that. That's really good. The creative director for the. I whole I love project. anything minimalistic. So if you guys want to know what we're talking about, it's called uh, hashtag for the culture. A call to the culture. By they call me Reggie, and that's all one word. They call me Reggie. So this is an ode to kids. Kill. I get my all up the left. 
NASA. Right. Let it be known. You can be great when you know who in the throne. How to be great when you work on your own game. Need a squash beef like a fox home, bro. I'm so long. It's personal. It's personal. Personal. personal, y'all. Oh, yes. All right, y'all. So we're actually going to end off the show and just want to say again, thank you so much for tuning in. This was our first show back on the District Channel. I'm just so happy and just can't wait to see what we have planned for you guys. That's right, y'all. This is the District Channel. You got Yenny, a.k.a. You better. You better. Ricky Rose. You. And you got Arvin, a.k.a. Superman the Silverback. We'll see y'all next week. Well, we'll talk to y'all next week. Yep. Yep. All right. See y'all.